Hey, how's it going guys? It's CK here and welcome back to Need for Speed 2015. Now, we're actually going to be jumping straight into the garage today because we kind of got a very important call from Travis saying that we need to get our asses over here. So we're just going to jump in, see what is happening. Don't know what the fuck is going to go down here, but he sounded like we needed to get here, like, bronto. Seriously, so I hope nothing bad has went down. I really, really hope nothing bad has went down. Oh my god, what is going to happen? Hello? Holy... Surprise. No, no, no. Travis, you stole nakai -san's car? You said you wanted balance, flawless body work? Here it is. You stole his car! Hey, I am no thief. After he saw your work, Nakai hit me up. He's curious, and I think I can convince him to come over. But before he does, you need to experience his master build. Gotta study the painting before you meet the painter. Yeah, that's right. You take Nakai's ride for a drive and find out what all the fuss is about. You never said you actually knew him, Travis. <laughs> Nakai Obama the Dalai Lama. You did good, guys. But this is the next level. Until you've handled a master build, You'll always be an apprentice. Huh. Go on. Take it and learn. Be first, man. I'll see you out there, okay? Oh, oh, oh. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> okay. So she just necked that the fuck off of me there, so... Yeah. I have a funny feeling, and as I said, if you watched my previous videos before this game came out, that Travis would be a bad guy. And that kind of looks like it's turning out to be true, so yeah, what does Amy want to know? Go up here and get out here, Rope. Amy, you're going to have to wait a little bit more, Hen, because I actually want to buy a new car. Um, well, considering the fact that we have already got a grip car and a drift car, I kind of want another drift car as well, just kind of like a little bit of variant from the Supra. So I have been saying I want to get a 180SX, because I love this car, I really, really do like this car. So what I think we're going to do is actually buy one. So yeah, it's a cheap car anyway, I can't afford it. And yeah, there we go, it's always a car that I like to see, like get a customised and everything. So how much we actually got, like 7,000? Yeah, we do have run about 7,000, so think about it now, what can we get in terms of performance wise, because it ain't the fastest car. In the world, so see camshaft that'll bound to bump it up a little bit. Three thousand, Jesus, bloody Christ, Jesus Christ, that is a lot, man. That is a lot. Three thousand, we'll just go for it anyway. Um, kind of what I spend others on body parts because kind of looks minging at the moment. Uh, let's see, at least it's up in terms of power a little bit. So hopefully you guys think I'm a wee bit more energetic in this episode. Sorry about the other one. Don't know why I was like that. So, body kits. Uh, hi there. Oh my god. This is sick, mate. Okay, I never knew there was this many body kits, but that is sick. Um, What one will we go for? I'm trying to think. Uh, that one looks pretty damn nice. I like this one, but that one looks cool as well. Uh, I don't really know. Go for this one. This looks so cool, man. Rocket Bunny 180SX already. That is nice. Uh, I always tint the windows like to properly black guys in this game. Don't know why, but it is good. It is very, very good. So, how much have we actually got left? Watch. 1,217 bucks. <sighs> I suppose it'll have to do. Uh, mirrors, mirrors, can we fit an exhaust? Yes we can! Yes! Oh my god, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh, pfft. Fucking hell, that just makes me lunch for GTA. Jesus, so, I like the big fat exhaust pipe. That one there is nice, but that one is better, I think. Um, I don't know, actually. I really, really don't know about this one. Uh, let's see, we'll we just go for this one? See, nah, nah, we'll go for this. Maybe not. F I don't know. It's so hard to choose. It's <laughs> I'm a car guy. I'm a car guy. You know how it feels. You know how it feels. Let's see. Uh, I'll just put EKD4 in this one. EKD458. There we go. That is it. 
Looking all swaggy now, man. Looking all swaggy now. Looking all swaggy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound system. Can we not change the spoiler? No, we can't, but that's fine. That is fine. That's a sexy ass spoiler anyway. Now, sadly, we don't have enough for rims, because it does look a little bit off with them rims, but the one thing I am not forgetting to do this time is adjusting the stands, because you guys are going to flip out if I do that. If I don't do that, I mean, so... i could try to line it up. This is another one you can actually just bump all the way out. Oh, it looks so nice! It looks so good! Um, what can we go for? I mean, I've kind of faded away from the stance look now a little bit, like, the camber look. I like stance, like, properly lowered, right? But now, with these cars, I'm like, I don't think it suits it. Well, you can't, obviously, Rocket Bunny suits it, but for me, that looks so nice! Oh, God damn, but anyway, we're going to need to change this colour. Have I got a blue car yet? Yeah, I've got the GTR in blue. So, the Supra, that's in white. We could make this thing red. I do like, like, 180SX and 240SX is in red, so, hmm, let's see, I probably classify this more as, like, a freaking customization episode, so, yeah, uh -huh. we'll probably just take a little test drive in this one, guys, let's see, what can we go for, hmm, oh, purple looks nice, actually, that looks so freaking good, holy shit, I mean, without stickers and everything, I think it actually looks not that bad, but, we're going to need to put on the traditional ones, aren't we? Definitely the car throttle ones, whatever it is. There it is down here. This is just my traditional layout, guys. So we're going to bump that down here. Let's see, like that. That'll do nicely. And okay, we've actually got quite a big, like, left rear window, if you know what I mean. So we could put some stuff on there. Uh, what's a freaking 180SX one there? I might actually put that on here. Uh, I don't really know. Shall we? Sh shall we? Shall we put it on there? Um, this is just a quick one, guys, if you know what I mean, because it is for this episode. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll go back and obviously tune it and everything, so... This looks so I'm actually glad I decided to get one of these, because in the beta, I didn't get one. I don't think I did, so... Why not go something basic like that? I mean, that looks okay. It's at the bottom of the windshield anyway. And I think it's only right we put something on the right window, pardon the pun. But yeah, let's see what else we've got. Um, but one thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is a possible car meet in this game. I know a lot of you have been asking. I will be trying my best to sort out a date to actually see when we can, like, properly set it up, if you know what I mean. Because I know a lot of you have been asking. It's just a matter of time, if you know what I mean. Because I know a lot of you are in the States. A lot of you are in the UK, and a lot of you come from like around the world, so just try to find that perfect time. But I think that'll do for the little 240SX. I'm just going to call it 240SX, guys. I know you guys in America call it the 180SX, is it? Or is it Japan? I think it's Japan, it's the 180SX. But right now, that is it. I know the rims look so disgusting. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I will do them in the next episode. But right now, what I think we're going to do is take out for a little drive and see how it fares. Tell you what we will do, guys, is actually beat the roots that Manu's given it to us. Because if you remember in the last episode of the Let's Play, it was talking about recreating Ken Block's Gymkhana run. So, yeah, this is basically all about drifting. And this is the thing that I want this car to do. So, we'll test it out, see how it fares. The bear may only get like 220 horsepower. It's not the full build yet, so... It won't be perfect, it won't be absolutely perfect, but we'll give it a bash. Let's see, I need to go in for this camera guys, sorry, I, need to, I just need to use the action camera when I'm drifting, just makes me focus a little bit more. Don't know why, but it just helps big time, man. God, it needs some more power, it really does need some more power. Oh my god, come on baby, come on. Do it, come on. Yeah, it does, it does, especially for this like sort of route here. Really big sweeping corners, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it soon, guys. See ya, Merc! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck. I'm surprised that didn't actually take away the points. Oh, my God. Come on, come on. Come on, little 180. You can do it. It's like a freaking little baby trying to learn the first steps. That is what this thing is like. Yeah, I don't know how to drift yet. Help me! Help me, please! I know I come from the land of drifting, but... 
I'm a novice at it. I'm a novice at it. Please help me, man. Don't worry, I will help you, little Nissan. We'll get through this shit. We'll get through it. Slowly. Very, very fucking slowly. Come on. This is not even... Come on. Please. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, shit. We're nearly there anyway. We've nearly got it. We've got one more freaking checkpoint to make this up. Uh, how the fuck are we meant to do this shit? Ha! Ah, shitey! Can we do this? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh the last bit! At the last freaking bit at all. Okay then! Right, that was great. That was pretty good. Ah! Oh, why no? Why no? Why no? Why no? Freaking Rosas, don't do it! No! Don't do it! 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 No, I don't want to pull over, mate. We need some donuts, please. Go fucking away, please! In Dodge Charger. We're not tech. We are in a pursuit now. Fuck! Okay, we need to get away from these guys. Son of a bitch. Just when you try to have a fun drive around and everything, the Rosas have to come after you. Yes, you're not allowed to free drive. You're not allowed to have fun. We're here to stop you, because we are the big, nasty policemen. Big, nasty, porky pigs. Believe, 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 believe. Get the fucking cuffs, folks. That's it. Get the cuffs. Oh, now you want to drift. Now you want to drift. Thanks very much for that. Thanks very much. We just basically lost the Rosals because of that corner, so... Yeah, that was okay, but... As soon as we get rid of these pigs, I'm jumping back into the garage because these rims are just not doing it. They are just not doing it, man. See, come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Have I been through this tunnel yet? Doesn't feel like I have been. It's kind of weird. I thought I, I thought I explored nearly every single bit of the map. Stay where you are. Uh, hell no. Hell no. You can bugger off. You can go back to the police station. I mean, I'm just having fun. There's no one around. It's kind of weird that we're on this topic of like street racing in that case. I was watching that dude in Blues video last night about is street racing really a crime? He does make some valid points in it, like reasons why it's kind of not. Because, um, basically the stereotypical, like, image of a street racer is people during the day and at night weaving through traffic and putting everyone's life in danger, right? But if you're a responsible person, they basically, they basically do, or you would do, what David said. It is, you would have to look around you, see if anyone's there, and if they aren't in a con controlled environment, then that is completely fine. If it's like an empty highway or anything, at least you know it's just used to there. There's no one else around you. And what the fuck are you doing, mate? What are you doing? What are you doing? Holy shit. Are you being... What the fuck? Right, okay. Get away from me, you big American beefy beast. Get away. But as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the pigs. Bitch! Anyway, um, yeah. As I say, as long as you're in a controlled environment, that is okay. And you know what you're doing and you're actually an experienced driver, so... Yeah, but I do... I'm not recommending Need for... I'm not recommending Need for Speed. I'm not recommending you go out to street race. All I'm recommending is, if you are going to do it, make sure that it's, like, what you call it, empty around you. No one else is around you, but... I do recommend going to a track because that's the ultimate place to like race and everything obviously so yeah keep it safe keep it on the track guys but if you ever ever find yourself in a street racing position just make sure that no one's around that is your top tip of the day EK's top tip I'm just gonna fucking bash you out the way now mate you are doing my freaking boxing Holy fuck off seriously seriously the freaking crown vex they are bad enough, well, they're not bad enough because you can get rid of them in like two minutes, but considering the fact this thing isn't that powerful, that thing can keep up, which sucks. It really, really does suck, so we have to be a little bit agile to get him to fuck out of here. Oh, God. Slow down, Nick. Care. How about you fuck off, you fucking bellend? Go away. Why would you slow down the car when you've been chased by the police? Think it through, you dipshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on! Now watch me whip. Now watch me drift. Now watch me crash into a police car. Maybe not. Oh, we're actually finally losing them! 
Thank God! Oh. See, we need to turn off the engine. There we go. Come on, come on. Eight seconds to go. Oh, that was so mean. That was so freaking mean. A little bit dented. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the big bad police officer's fault. Thank the Lord for that. We're going to jump into the garage and just change the rims now. Just get something to calm me down, for fuck's sake. I don't know why I'm going to do this, but it looks so tempting. I'm going to be putting a Mustang RTR rims on it. It just looks so cool, in my opinion. So, yeah, we're going to pop back. Look at that. It just looks amazing. It just flows with the bodywork as well. So, we're going to go for it. So, yeah, we're kind of merging the nations here. We're merging Japan and America, which is awesome. Let's see. Uh, Mustang RTR, that's the one we want. So, yeah, I'm so glad we actually changed the rims now, guys. That looks sick. It really does look sick. So... Anyway guys, you're going to be seeing a lot more of this car in future episodes of the Let's Play. I don't know what the fuck this episode was intended to be. First off, it was maybe a Let's Play episode, then it was like a Custom Cars episode, then it was like Escape from the Piggies. So yeah, give it like a random mashup, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, like would be much appreciated on the video. And yeah, show me the love and support in the comments below and sub to the channel if you want to. So see you in the next part from me and the 180SX. Peace.